Welcome back to Exposing the Dirty Few. Uh, I got left a link, I don't know, by some dude. <laughs> That's actually his name, some dude. Um, which I thought's funny because some can be spelt S-O-M-E and some, S-U-M, is to add up stuff. And his avatar is a 33 with a cross through it. It's amazing how things are linked together. So modern English language. Well by the Thought Company. So the first thing we're going to do is look at is uh, Thought Company, because it just says CO, company we start off with is 33. And we're going to put to bed that the English language was designed to add to these numbers. So right off the bat, modern. Here's one I haven't found before. So the very first word, 11 vowels, 22 consonants, is, so it's the 33 English. Can you believe it? And then we've got the word language, which um, I know you've probably all seen it before, but you never know who's going to be watching. Languages equals 33, uh, which is the same as, not well, linguistics. Ah, uh, linguistics, if I spell it right, is also 33. Well, there's a, that's just a bloody coinky dink in it. And of course, the big one, English language equals 66. And also, the Hebrew language also equals 66. So um, you've got this fraud here named Shakespeare. Oh, by the way, while we're here, uh, if you look down the bottom here, when I get rid of this, it's advertising Pandora, which is jewelry. Jewelry. Do not adorn with gold and silver. Can you believe that? Yeah, so fraud, Shakespeare, you didn't write this shit. Um, you probably stole stuff just like Albert Einstein. Uh, and just so you know, what's Albert Einstein's most famous equation? Um, oh. E equals MC squared. Because you're a thief, Einstein. Because um, <laughs> Einstein did his best stuff when he's working as a pattern clerk. You know why he did his best stuff when he was working as a patent clerk? Because he stole everybody's ideas. Now this story here is by Richard Nordquist. It's just this. <laughs> Talk about hitting a home run. You guys just supply so much information, so much inspiration, and I'm eternally grateful for all of it. So Richard Norquist is the dude. Um, <laughs> the dude. Can you believe I just said that? Can you believe? I'm... You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. Um, talked about... I'm not going to go and read through all of it. Uh, however, as Diane Davies... So Diane Davies has the, uh, the double D... But we need to go over to simple here for Diane. Diane, and that's the way she spells it. Diane Davies in simples. 33, so I'm gonna go and add that to uh, my ICU. To all the words that I've forgotten about there. World English is an international uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, Talks about pronunciation, spelling, grammar, um, I'm not going to, as I said, I'm not going to go through all these words, but there's another cracker down here somewhere. Oh, I'm saying that horrible words again. Um, I have to remind me what it is. Now, from its early days, the Royal Society concerned itself with matters of language in 1664, but it, they weren't ready for it then because it's the Royal so. Society, the Royal 33. Um, 
Where is this? Uh, what is that word? We're going through this. Sorry, but yeah, this is just putting it to bed, so. Ah, uh, all these underline words are the most wonderful ones. Um, that is the cracking one right there, right at the end, but um, it was, I'm sure it was Sin sing ah yeah I'll have to find it whoop 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 of word order and we know the word order equals thirty three and I believe there is an orange order of Freemasonry which is Fewish Freemasonry. Um, I wish I could remember that word. It's really annoying me now. Uh, by 1776, most of the repertoire was available. So in the American Revolution, where they took over America, and that's where pretty much Freemasonry started in the US. Um, that's where they took over in 1776. Unbelievable. Um, it's also said here that the English language um, was 1945 was where they really said that it kind of hooked in. That was the real time where all the the modern language was done. Now the I guess the the wonderful coincidence that keeps happening is that 1945 was World War Two, and as I've shown you before, I can't say one of these words out loud because every time I write it in a comment, it gets deleted. World War Two equals 33, and because it was made by the 33 people, World War Two, a 33 World War Two. That's, I, I honestly don't think that's a stretch. Um, and you've got the Waffen SS and <laughs> S in Chaldean is worth three. So it's the Waffen 33. That's the way they do it. I didn't make it. Uh, this word here, which we can't say out loud because it gives you the indication of who you can't talk about. And... This is how many, apparently, look at that, 33 vowels, 22 consonants, 55, and, like, come on, come on, stop it. Um, and Berlin was a major area. So Berlin's 33 and 18, and when you type in 18, 18 equals 33, like... <laughs> Um, apparently they're pulling down, uh, apparently Winston Churchill is also known as a slave owner now. When people start to realise that we're all slaves, um, things might change, but they don't. Uh, and that was when the first ballistic missile was invented by Werner von Braun which was the Nazi brought over to America to help them get into their space fa sp fake space race. And of course it's a... They're missiles, aren't they? Big phallic worship missiles. Um, and of course when we were talking about that first word that I couldn't talk about, we've got, that was the gas that was used and if you just look up that, you'll see that word and Zyklon B, just Google one of them, and you'll see images of a gas canister that's in Germany with English frigging writing on it. Like, give me a break. I've remembered the word. Rhetorical. Uh, uh, 55 and 33 so <laughs> uh, 
Um, and now we get to pretty much the, I don't know whether the right words are coup de gras, the, um, the absolute, not the definitive point, but um, we already know about the 666 and how many we found and the word wisdom stuck out to me so um, you've got here is wisdom equals 66 and his number is equals 66 number of the beast equals 66 and I've done a video where I go to that um, passage and the whole thing equals I think it's 6665 thus you use the rule of Colel and add one or take one away <sighs> and then of course you've got the rule of three which also equals 66 um, and the first paragraph of Freemasonry adds to 666. So, oh, where did that, there we go. So, once again, we look at the inverted commas of where it begins and where it ends. And it was in 1909, which is 166 backwards. So, dozens of comments express this wisdom. The English tongue has become rank polyglot and is spreading over the earth like some sort of hardy plant whose seed is sown by the wind. Now, as I just discovered the other day, that seed also equals 33 in simple, same as bird, like, give me a break. And uh, this statement here adds to 600 and 66. What a coinky dink. Bonus content, sorry, I, I thought this was important to note. Uh, however, as Diane Davies notes, uh, linguists argue, argue for a further stage of, in their language beginning around 1945, called World English, reflecting globalization of English as an international lingua franca. So <clears throat> my predictions is that every single person, person equals 33, people equals 33, humankind equals 33, um, will have to learn English because that's going to be the tongue of the beast. And as I noted, quite a few words there around 1945 which were coined, coined, minted, all that sort of stuff because uh, we're kind of living in a 33 beast system. One world order, one world language, one world government, one world religion, one world army, one world police. Chosen one world? Lem weighed 33,000 pounds. Say so what now, what now? And for those with eyes to see, I give you 33. 33 is feeling pretty good right now. Typically around 33. I worked on this for 33 years. We will make it no more than 33% of the weight. Globe's 333rd month. Belong to a triceratops that walked that land around 33,000 even. For TV, so it's 133 aspect. Versus just over 33,000. You delete 33,000 email. 33. So we have 33 projects. Are the 33,000 email. And here at 133, a sex worker stand. Reintegration tax to cover the costs of moving 3.3 million Jews to Poland. About how 33% is critical mass. Once you reach a population of 33%, then you, you no longer...
longer can be stopped. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too.